what's up guys today we're gonna go over the new crew battle event how to navigate it and what to do so uh, let's get started first you're gonna start by opening up your crew battle page go to events hit go and click on the confounding labyrinth there's gonna be four uh, corners to choose from uh, if you are first going in uh, don't stress too much about it it really does not matter uh, just select one and go right on in all right, we are here inside the new crew battle event. First, we're going to go over a little bit of the UI and how it works. First, we have your vitality. It refreshes just like normal vitality out in the overworld. Uh, they are not shared. It is not the same. They are two different things. Um, and it is right here in the top right hand corner. Your max cap is 300 and you cannot go above that. So make sure you spend your vit just like uh, you do in the overworld and uh, make sure not to uh, go past it. Next, we have our green crystals, which is gonna be our currency for buying buffs. You get these from opening chests inside the uh, map. Next, we have our store, which is where we use the green crystals to buy our buffs. Next, we have our log, which is where uh, you claim your rewards. Uh, just like weeklies, it's the same looking kind of page. Uh, you got a lot of them and you will eventually claim all of them. Next you have your info, which is your stat page. Uh, it is affected by equipping buffs that you get from opening the chests and buying them in the store. Next is your backpack, which is your warehouse and your crew warehouse. Your personal warehouse is where every time you open up a box, uh, you get the goodies inside and it comes to your personal backpack. Your crew warehouse is shared between your crew. Uh, you guys can coordinate with each other and put buffs in to give to each other. There is a record log for who puts what in and who takes what out and at what time. Uh, you're able to just click on what buff you want and withdraw it. But coordinate with your crew first before taking stuff out. You want to make sure everyone gets what they need. Next is your weapons. This is just the regular weapon page. Uh, you can change your weapons uh, and your matrices here. Now in the crew battle, your normal gear like your chest piece, uh, your helmet, your bracers, your titan pieces, none of that matters. The only thing that affects the crew battle is your weapons and their uh, advancements and the matrices and their advancements. If you are free to play or a low spender, then this Venus cube can help you. The Venus Cube gives a random uptech. A random uptech increases the star rating of a particular element by one while in the maze. So it adds one star to your weapon. Now, if you are just starting off at level zero, the first thing you want to do is get some levels. Uh, what I recommend doing is first open up one of the chests that is the element that you play uh, or the element that you want to play if you have multiple. Uh, I recommend only really opening up one. You only really need one. That is a permanent buff that will stay with you. Um, there are higher tier ones that you can buy from the store. Uh, these are the tier three ones, but the tier two has seemed to work perfectly fine for me. To get a box, this is what you do. You challenge an enemy. Defeat the enemy. Once you have left, go to the box and open it up. Then go to your backpack, find the buff, then equip it by hitting activate. Once you've gotten your elemental box opened, it is recommended that you use the rest of your vitality on opening up the uh, boxes that have two green uh, wonder fragments and the random wonder box along with the 100 xp now there are other boxes that have only the crystal fragments but it's not recommended to open those because it will not help with experience the first thing you want to do is try to get to around a level 5 or level 6 and then once there start working on elite enemies now elite enemies can be identified by the icon the icon has uh, slightly more pointy horns on their head and the chest next to them will have 10 green fragments and a purple random wonder box. 
Now, unlike the regular ads around the map with the green icons, the elite enemies will not respawn. Once they are dead, they are gone. But the chests will remain until you open them. So if your crew has already killed all the elite bosses on the map and you are still level 0, you can get a big head start by collecting the elite chests first, while only having to kill the adds in the way of your path going from point A to point B collecting them. While going through the map and collecting the elite chests and other chests and farming in general, be sure to replenish your vitality by stopping on the Mia icons. Click on the Mia icon to replenish 20 vitality. Again, remember that the vitality cap is 300 and to not go past it. If you are at 290 vitality, do not use the Mia vitality replenisher. This will cause you to waste 10 vitality. Now I bet you're wondering, how the fuck do I navigate this goddamn map? Well, don't worry, I've got the answer for you. I do not understand Hada's logic, but here it is. If you want to get to the top left portion of the map, you click this icon. Why? I do not know. But, sure enough, it takes you here. If you'd like to get to the middle left portion of the map, you take this one. Why? I do not know. If you'd like to get to the bottom left corner of the map, you click this one. If you'd like to get to the middle left portion of the map, Click this one. If you'd like to get to the top right side of the map, click this one. If you'd like to get to the middle right section of the map, click this one. If you'd like to get to the bottom right portion of the map, click this one. If you'd like to get to the middle right section of the map, click this one. Now, if you'd like to get to the middle portion of the map where the stronger bosses and stronger ads are, you take these two routes. Go to the far right side of the map and go to the two teleporters. The top teleporter of the two will take you to the top portion of the middle part of the map. Scroll to the left. Find the two teleporters, and the bottom left of the two teleporters will take you to the bottom side of the middle part of the map. Once you have farmed enough experience and enough buffs, then you are ready to challenge the bosses. The bosses cannot be done by one person. It will take multiple attempts by multiple people to defeat one boss, depending on the level. Each time a person challenges it and defeats their portion of it, a portion of the boss's health will go down. When defeating a boss, you will gain points that will add to your crew's ranking. Be sure to equip your buffs before entering the boss and make sure to have the right weapons equipped. Once inside, you have 2 minutes and 30 seconds to defeat the boss. Bosses are also weak to certain elements, so be sure to coordinate with your crew on who goes to what boss. And that's everything you need to know about crew battles. If this guy was helpful, please let me know. And come check out the stream every night at 10pm EST. A link will be in the description. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys later.